Ah, tá, 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 I'm buzzing you, Jim, at the moment. I've seen all the video footage. Seems like a great atmosphere out there. Dillian leading the way. A fast turnaround for this fight, but both guys have been in camp for some time now. It's just a brilliant heavyweight fight. Oh, without a doubt. I think it's a fight that uh, boxing needs. I mean, it's very rare today that the best fight the best. So I think this is a, a good fight for, for Dill and for the boxing world. I mean, so many comparisons, obviously, both British heavyweights, both London heavyweights, but also both heavyweights who share the same last opponent, both heavyweights that have had one fight with their new trainer. You know Derek James as well. You know, I mean, two of you, the two of the very best trainers in the sport, great minds in the corner as well going into this one. Thank you, I think it's going to be a, a, a great night of boxing. Matter of fact, I know it's going to be a great night of boxing. And what better place to have it than here in London? Obviously, you've watched Anthony Joshua over the years. I know you talked about not watching too many fights in the previous press conference, but you've had a chance now to be with Dillian for that Jermaine Franklin fight. The first fight was a, an instant classic, one that British boxing will remember for a long time. Everything on the line in this fight, you know your man will be fired up going into the ring on August 12th. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, um, he's excited about it. He's been talking about it before it was even signed. You know, every day he kept talking about it, talking about it, and here we are now. Dillian, welcome. Um, unbelievable that it's just under five weeks to go. I like that about this fight. Sometimes you make a fight that's 12, 13 weeks away. You know you've been in camp for a long time. Both of you guys had to fly back from the States for this press conference as well. I didn't think this fight would get over the line. It's here, it's happening. The perfect fight for both of you right now. Yeah, I was ready and waiting for you guys to start what you guys were starting about. You know, once the fight was mentioned, I was like, yeah, you know me, I'm always up for a fight, so he doesn't think I'm to a fight to me, especially one like this. Seven years ago, over, since you two faced off at Tower Bridge, a lot has changed. What do you think the difference is now between you and him? I mean, right back then, two hungry, inexperienced guys who gave us a wild night. How have things changed and, and we still expect that same crazy night at the O2 on August? We've all been through a lot, both of us a lot, but we're still chasing improvement, you know, so we've got new teams, new people around us and um, I think it's going to be an even better fight than it was the first time because we're both more experienced, more skilled now and we've been through stuff, up and downs and fights, obviously. I've had my rough season, that is rough, you know, we both have three losses as well, so it'll be a good fight, you know, we've we'll still got a lot of hunger in us and um, I can't wait to get in there and have fun, man. There's always a lot of analysis, a lot of criticism as well. Mm -hmm. You've seen AJ throughout his career. Where do you think he's at in his career now? And, and this is a fight you obviously have a lot of confidence going into. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't care. I just put people for the best version of him. You know what I, mean? I don't think I, I, a lot of people saying this, that, and the other. That's, that's what they mean to say. I'm not for me to worry about. I just worry about preparing for the best version of him, whether he's still there or not. I don't really care. I mean, I'm coming to the fight and I ain't got nothing to lose, so I'm all good. I remember that first press conference, you guys were in, I think it was a public workout, you were like hanging around with each other, waiting for each other outside the weights room. You matured a lot since then. You still, you still that, that aggressive guy that, that's, you think both of you still got that same edge, that same chip on your shoulder. You've experienced a lot, you've achieved a lot, you've both made a lot of money. You're still the same competitor right now, you still want to take this guy out? I'm calm, but like I listen, fuck around and find out. When you fuck around, I have the chances you'll find out. So, you know, that's, that's not my mindset. One change. One question I keep getting from a lot of the media here is is this must win for both? Is this career ending for the other one? That's I know. Like career with Matthew, much, much win fight, much, must win fight, must win fight. Every fight, Matthew has been like that. But what happens if you lose this fight on August the 12th? I'm not, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. We'll see what happens. And I take it. I like it all. I learn to take it day by day and appreciate today. Worry about tomorrow and tomorrow comes, man. So let's see, you know. And finally, you believe you win this fight by stoppage. I know you're not massive on predictions, but both of you guys have had stuff to say about the other one in terms of where they're at in their career. You believe you have the power to take this guy out on August 12th? I have the power to take anybody out, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm listening. I'm focused on getting a victory. If it if knockout comes, it comes. But I'll just try and get the knockout, you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, we. I listen to what Buddy says and trust what Buddy says, so we see what he says. But you know, I'm a dog and I'm always trying to bite regardless, you know, until the end of the fights. Main fights have been up in points and I tried to get the knockout in the last rounds and been down and, you know, so. AJ, saw you in Dallas last week. Everything, 
every conversation about this all. Because he didn't come to Florida to see me in the first season of AG. So I'm saying, you've been bullshitting, man. What? You've been bullshitting. What? You've been bullshitting. You've been bullshitting. You've been You've been bullshitting. I didn't think you were going to take the fight. You'd be bullshitting, man. I didn't think you were going to take the fight. You've got to stop that. You've got to stop that. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think you'd take the fight. You didn't think you'd take the fight. You were going to Mexico, didn't you? You didn't take the fight. Yeah, I was going, I was going Dallas to Mexico. Uh, it was on a stopover. Uh, can I ask one question? Go on. What does AJ's boss this thing? You might find out. I'm going to find out, man. I think you've been giving tea, you've been giving tea back in you in the turn team. Bro, you'll find out. See, get your own lines, bro. Come on, man. Get your own lines. Relax, bro. Get your own lines, man. Anyway. Yo. AJ. What's up? This was the fight you said, okay?